If you haven't heard of Project 2025 yet, then you need to listen. It's part of a Republican movement to end wokeness and take the country back to Reagan-era times. This project, some argue, is more than just a playbook for political maneuvering. It's seen as the Christian Nationalist Manifesto, a strategic plan to reshape societal norms and power structures. Project 2025 aims to keep families together, end no-fault divorce, and straight from the text, deleting the terms sexual orientation and gender identity SOGI, diversity, equity and inclusion DEI, gender, gender equality, gender equity, gender awareness, gender sensitive, abortion, reproductive health, reproductive rights, and any other term used to deprive Americans of their First Amendment rights out of every federal rule, agency regulation, contract, grant, regulation, and piece of legislation that exists. Project 2025 is promising the implementation of these four fronts that will decide America's future. Promise 1, restore the family as the centerpiece of American life and protect our children. They believe marriage can only exist between one man and one unrelated woman. A man's natural use is as husband and head of the home. He is the breadwinner. A woman's natural use is to stay home, have and rear children, and submit to her husband. Project 2025 intends to impose this Christian nationalist view of marriage and family nationwide. According to their Bibles, a woman's God-given purpose is to be a wife and mother without human intervention. This is the basis for their opposition to abortion, IVF, and even hormonal birth control. It is also the foundation for their goal to end no-fault divorce. Promise 2. Dismantle the administrative state and return self-governance to the American people. The next conservative president must possess the courage to relentlessly put the interests of the everyday American over the desires of the ruling elite. Their outrage cannot be prevented, it must simply be ignored. Project 2025, page 9. The media has highlighted Project 2025's promise to gut the federal government, but they are not explaining its Christo-fascist designs. Christian nationalists believe the Bible is God's infallible law, and so it should be the basis for all laws. They will not compromise this position because they believe God commands them to follow his perfect law to the letter. This is why they disregard unfavorable voting outcomes like the Ohio referendum on abortion. They don't care about polls or what American voters support. It's why they are willing to ignore judicial decisions and election results. They don't feel serve God's commands. They believe their Bibles give them the right to deny anyone and anything that conflicts with their interpretation of God's law. They are already governing this way in many red states. It is how they will govern nationally if they win in November. Promise 3. Defend our nation's sovereignty, borders and bounty against global threats. In Project 2025's draconian section on immigration, they buried this gem. Their book of human nature is the Bible. It is yet another veiled statement that the Bible should be the basis for our laws. This is also why Christian nationalists deplore education and expertise. They believe everything God meant for humans to know is contained in the Bible, so there is no need for any other means of enlightenment. This is the basis for their attacks on public school classrooms and libraries, as well as secular colleges and universities. These are heretical places that teach humans to question their Bible. Promise 4. Secure our God-given rights to live freely, what our Constitution calls the blessings of liberty. Many Americans might say, I'm living the good life or I'm living my best life to mean career success, financial security, good health, or a relaxing vacation. When Christian nationalists talk about living a good life or living their best life, they mean the Christian life or a holy life. By conflating a good life with a holy life, the framers of Project 2025 embedded their idea that America is a Christian nation into Promise 4. They intend to force every American to live their definition of a good life through government edict a goal they weave throughout Project 2025's policy recommendations. But what do I know? Read it and form opinions for yourselves. Your vote counts and all hands are needed on deck this election.